popping open therapy room. Let's just make sure that's all clean. Azumi, let me just sticky are you. It's a lovely day in Bridgend, isn't it? It is nice, and we're gonna go out tonight, aren't we, Azumi? Well, you're not. You're gonna get the lads round and play poker, innit? Yeah. Hello. Hi Sam, hi Jen. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, I re-blued it because I dyed it denim blue. And because, you know, turning 40 and I thought denim blue is a more sensible colour blue for a 40 year old. And then I got bored of it really quickly and so I've gone back electric blue, 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 electric blue. Because why not? And I'm going to Pride tomorrow. So why not? Hi Karen. Has Karen let you watch this? I'm Carla. Did I say Karen? I meant Carla. Anyway, all of them. You have to watch. It's fine. Um, hi, Catherine. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. As for me, you're going to get in the way of doing this whole video. Hi, Kirsten. Oh, Louise, look, it's you. It's you, kitten. <gasps> Christmas. As me gets very excited when you say Christmas. Because she thinks that there's going to be trees that she can jump on, isn't it? And baubles to play with. Right, so um, I went to my steak today. They've got three charity shops in my steak. Um, so not particularly, you know, normally a great place for sourcing. That's why I don't go there very regularly. In fact, I haven't been maybe about a year, probably, I think. Something like that. It's been a long time anyway since I last went to my steak. But thankfully, two of the charity shops um, had big pound, one pound sales on, didn't they, Azumi? Well, you weren't there, so you won't know. Um, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. I love this weather. It's great. So, yeah, all of the clothes I bought today were a pound. Some of them are not quite so exciting, and then some of them are like, eh, eh, you know, you would. You would for a pound. And then I got some jewelries, um, one of which I freaking love, and the ladies have seen it already. But there's a couple more nice bits in there as well. So, um, shall I crack on and show you the things I bought for a pound each? A pound. Let me have a sip of Ribena first. Azumi, don't look at me like that. I can't give you love constantly. Mmm, freaking love like Ribena. It's so good. Bark a loafers for fifty-five pounds. Well done. A whole a whole earth pound, in fact. Right. So some not particularly exciting brands, but again, if you saw them for a pound, you may or may not pick them up. Hey, Lobster Rooney. <laughs> right. Not an amazing brand, but H by Henry Holland. But I think that's a tray cool little dress with a bit of broderie and glaze in there. I know it's the end of summer. This is like officially the last weekend of summer, isn't it? Not of summer itself, but you know what I mean? Like this is it now until next June. <sighs> How depressing. But I thought that was dead cute. I'm gonna put them back in the bag. So even if I only get, I don't know, like 12, 15 pound for each one of these dresses, that's still a good result, isn't it? Not exciting, but um, just a Peruna dress, but it's a nice long maxi dress with a little knot at the front. Nice kind of purpley blue colour. That's alright. I think I, I was just doing that. I haven't got any stock, so just buy something. And because it was all a pound, it's like, well, might as well fill your boots, innit? I think this is Peruna as well. This is a lovely, yeah, Peruna. This is a kind of nice animal print, very safari. Because remember as well, um, off tonight might go to one of our favourite pubs in Bridgend, um, was, um, is the t Risha. so it's just slightly like off the M4, but it's the only place in Bridgend that's got a decent beer garden. Sorry, let's tilt you up a bit. Um, oh, oh, Azumi, you're so cute. So we just go there and sit outside. And they've got uh, really nice food there as well, so we're just going to chill there. And then tomorrow we'll go into Pride. 
um, meeting up with my friend Scott, who um, is kind of in charge of Pride, sort of. He's in, he's the head of the um, South Wales Police Gay Staff Network, and um, he's making sure that they've all got their rainbow epaulets, and you know they all march together, and they have photographs done with people, and it's all very lovely. So I'm gonna um, go along and support Scott, and maybe even get backstage and meet Samantha Mumba and Liberty X. Oh no, is Liberty X tonight? I think Liberty X is tonight. And Texas are tonight as well. Okay, um, sorry Karen, you asked. Um, yeah, the whole, well in one shop, there was a very long um, one pound rail, and then in another shop, everything was a pound. It was the Emea shop where all clothing was a pound, so that was great. And what I'm wearing tomorrow, Kirsten, is um, a floor length strapless sequin ball gown with a big slit up the side it's very jessica rabbit it's a little bit too big for me so i'm gonna have to like sew myself in a little bit but and that and my doc martin boots obviously because you know right a joe brown little skirt which is kind of cute these are all like coming up they're all like size 10s and 12s so far but that's okay because skinny people need clothes too this is not particularly exciting oasis i think that's a vintage oasis label but i probably won't say vintage because oasis isn't really a brand that you think of as being vintage you know like tammy girl and stuff well i suppose maybe tammy girl um oh just 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 get a ball gown and wear it why not but I thought that was nice with the little applique flowers. It's very 90s looking. So I might get away with saying that it's actually vintage because it, it is. And this is a Winsmore dress. Cobra by Winsmore. Um okay, I'll I'll send I'll send you pictures when I'm all dressed up and stuff. But like very bright. Is that like ribbon lace? That's one for, you know, ladies of a certain age isn't it wins more but again for a pound oh this i freaking love this is wallace strapless dress with like velour spots my little prom dress so that'll be nice for christmas what size is that one it's gonna be a 12 oh no it's a 16. oh yeah no i suppose it is yeah i could nearly squeeze into that Ooh. <laughs> that's alright, there's a bit of uh, ribbing in it as well I know, it's kind of cute isn't it yeah happy young with that um, this is a, a nice enough find this is East uh, what size, this is a 12 as well again, like maxi dress an East maxi dress for a pound you're not going to leave that really are you again, should hope to get like 15, 18 pounds on that one hopefully so that's all the dresses and then i got a bunch of tops nearly all of which are vintage i think so beware hi margaret beware the gearish patterns and stuff now frank green not really heard of the name but hideous horrendousness with little oh you like that one do you bronwyn hi by the way all the way from australia i mean how do you get here so quick aha hi neville all right so, yeah, just a little floral blouse. That's probably 90s, isn't it? This is horrendously 90s. This is Winsmore again. That's disgusting, isn't it? With a little tie waist. That's truly gross colours. I mean, there's fugly and then there's actually just fucking ugly, isn't there? You know? And that comes under the latter. This isn't vintage. But this is pure merino wool, Marks and Spencers, in a beige colour, very bland, very boring. Um, oh, sorry, Bronwyn, sorry, <laughs> not sorry. But that again, land girl kind of look that would, you know, that kind of works with nice little gold buttons. Someone out there will want that for fifteen quid, won't they? I mean, it is Marks and Sparks. Um, ooh. Last top. Again, this is very 90s. Is it like cheesecloth cotton? 
like that slightly rougher, more open weave cotton. But that's a bit fab. I do like that one. Uh, suit me if I ever wear a beige parka. It'll happen one day. And then the dribbling will start. And then last bit of clothing. This is still with its tag on it. Just like literally just hanging on by that. So an old Marks and Spencer size 18 paisley skirt. I think that's from that must be from the 80s. That one. Um, yeah, 1980 apparently. So there we go. Nice paisley skirt. Yes, well done on getting your cameras listed, Karen. Now you're just the the rest of stuff. But it's okay, one step at a time you're getting there, aren't you? You know? Hmm. Okay, I don't know how much I spent on this. Either 50 pence or a pound. Um, so this is two vintage pillowcases, never been used, in like a very 70s pattern. I think. I mean, made in the UK. It looks very 70s, doesn't it? The writing, like the typeface on there is very 70s. So I'm guessing so. I haven't looked this up properly, but there's got to be a market out there for stuff like that, isn't there? You know? Yes, the 12 million other items that you've got to do. But it's okay. Three, three a day, five a day, whatever you want your target to be just you know trundle through it you'll be fine right so i always pick up jewelry because i love jewelry it's like mm. for me it's the quickest easiest thing to photograph and list and it just regularly sells for me every day i'll get a couple of jewelry sales it's never any real big profit in it i never will you know make my millions on it well you never know you know could find diamonds and stuff um, but it's something that I'm getting to know lots more about and I feel really comfortable recognising what's good and what will sell and stuff and certain designers and styles and things so I'm happy doing that. I'll show you the more boring ones first. So just your standard kind of either 1950s or 80s. Best ever sale was cost you. Ooh, what was that then? So yeah. Probably in either 50s or 80s, that's probably something like Avon. Just standard little like gold looking ones with pearls in. Not particularly exciting. Hi Christine. Um, none of these are signed. I'm, I mean, I might even put them in a little lot together, you know. Or I'll, I'll take a bunch of things, like, you know, ones that I don't think will sell particularly well on their own. Again, like this one. Um, not particularly old, really. But I'll put them together as a nice little lot. Oh, do you know what bugs me? People have spelled brooch wrong. I know it's a silly thing to get bugged about. But there's no A in brooch. It's brooch. Brooch. Oh, another one. So these probably all cost about a pound each. I don't know how many clothing items I've got. But I all together today I spent £34. So it's a shame this one isn't signed, because that one's quite nice, a bit hefty. So that one I'll probably sell on its own. I got this necklace, which is just all, yes, brooch. Ooh, Oscar de la Renta jewellery set, £300. Nicely done. Well done. I think the most expensive bit of jewellery I sold was, um, it was a butterfly, blue butterfly wing pendant, which I bought for £2. I sold for 120, I think. That was a, it was a Thomas Mott one. I think it went for 120. So just plastic 1950s, Hong Kong import, but I just thought it was fun. Less than a fiver, well done. Very nicely done there. This I thought was kind of fab. This was one pound 25. Uh, this I think, first of all, I thought it was a type in, but it's really wide. So I think it might be a money clip, which is kind of funky. So a little like sabre sword thing. And this is by Stratton. So Stratton make 
Um, I came in an auction, not nice, very nice. I need to go to auctions. Yeah, I'll come with you. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a, a money clip. It's kind of cool. Stratton normally make, uh, you normally see their compacts, um, mirrored compacts. And they also do lipstick holders that look like big rings. So sometimes they'll, people in charity shops will mark them up as rings, getting confused. So it'll be like a, a sort of a ring shape with a little oval compact on the top, like a little mirror. So people will think that it's the ring, but it's not. It's for putting your lipstick in so you can lipstick and then mirror and stuff. Yes, and cufflinks, yes. I've, although I very rarely see Stratton cufflinks. I've seen a few tie pins, but mainly um, it's the compacts that I've seen. Um, this is little, see his little either collar clips or cardigan clips. So you put your cardigan over your shoulders instead of buttoning it up, you would put them on. So that's a very kind of 1950s look. Don't know how old these are. I can't see any marks on them or anything. Maybe not particularly old, but I thought they were quite cute anyway. Because you've got them all. <laughs> um, a little enamel one. I was hoping that it would be signed Fish and Crown, but it's not. So it's probably just, um, do you remember Pastimes, the shop? They sold a lot of things like that back in the 80s. But there's still a little market for these. People still like them, still collect them. So we're happy to buy them. This is kind of fun. A little, is that a French horn? A little sparkly French horn. Is that signed? Is that a V maybe? Or an L? Mm, maybe not. It could be an A. I don't know. Maybe it's an Avon one. But I thought that was quite good fun anyway. Someone out there will want that. These are lovely. 1950s enamel. I thought they might have been Coro, but they're not signed. Lovely clip-on earrings. Hang on. Let me show ye. Oh yeah, that's a bit fabulous, isn't it? So they're really nice. So a little bit of enamel and some faux coral in there. Or is it just... Oh no, the coral is just painted on, actually. But yeah. I like them. That should get me about £8 just for them. And then on to my nicer bits now. It's only a few nicer bits. This, see, Albertine. I don't know if that's like a particularly cool thing. But it does say on the back, semi-precious stone in this design is gold tiger's eye. And I was hoping, and let's readjust you. Just keep sliding away. I was hoping that the little chain... Clip-ons are great, honestly. I sell clip-ons all the time. Um, but that's quite nice, isn't it? So it's a little gold tie, because I, I was hoping the chain might be nine carat gold, but it's plated. But never mind, that's still really pretty. This is really nice. This was $1.99. Um, so this is Damascene, so made in Damascus. Hi, Mags. Um, so it's a certain type of like um, like black and gold colour kind of enamelling process. I don't know exactly how they do it, but in there, I don't know if you can see that properly. Let's do... That's um, what they call watermelon glass, where it's all different like shades. Hi Steve, you are right. You're an old head too. But yeah, that's watermelon glass in there. And that's really pretty. So that's probably 1950s or 60s tourist piece um, from Damascus. So that I should hope for a few quid on. And then I've got three cool things. Right. So that, I might, is that upside down? No, wait, that's the right way up. So that's a Thai dancer and it's stamped Siam Sterling. And I tested it and it tests as 800 silver. So that's 800 parts Haisu. 800 parts silver per 1,000, so it's not 925, this is 800 silver. But that's cool, so that's from Thailand, probably, I don't know, 19... between 1930s and 50s, perhaps. And then, in the same place, I bought these two bracelets, also stamped cyan silver with Thai dancers on. So these are just tourist pieces. So we've got one in blue 
and one in black and red. An actual proper sterling silver one went for 40 odd pounds. Um, I won't get that much for these, maybe about 15, 20, but they are kind of cool, like from Thailand. And then my last piece was uh, is actually my cheapest and it has ended up being the best thing I've bought today. And that's this. Isn't it pretty? It's lovely and it fits perfectly. But yellow isn't my colour. So that's citrine in there. This is 50p and it's stamped 925 inside. But you know, you can stamp anything 925 and that doesn't mean it's actually silver. So I was a little bit suspicious because it does look a bit costumey, you know. Um, but I got it home, tested it straight away and it came up bright red on the test, which means proper silver. So the 50p, that's not bad. And it weighs 14.6 grams. So that's quite a hefty bit of silver in there. So I'm super chuffed for that. I'm considering maybe just keeping it for a little bit, you know. Oh, go away, flying thing. But yeah, that's ended up, the cheapest thing has ended up being the best thing I've purchased today. So very happy with that. That's nice, isn't it? I think it's citrine. It's very faceted. I don't know how you would test the carrot on a something like that, but it's very cool, isn't it? So I'm happy. Yeah, exactly. I wear it for a little bit first. Wear it in, test it out, make sure it works properly. You know, because why not? Because we're allowed to do that. All of this stuff that we buy, it's ours first, isn't it? God, my hair is looking a little bit crazy blue today, isn't it? It's fab. Right, well that's everything I've bought. Not bad for £34. I think I should get my money back pretty quick, I think. But I'm going to list them, not tomorrow, maybe not bank holiday Monday, because the weather is too nice. So back to work on Tuesday, I think. Although I might list some jewellery today while Bianca's still at work. Yes, I'm going to do that. Yes. So, that's me done. If everybody could just call Steve a knobhead, like, before we leave. It looks green on the screen, but it... Oh, no, it's really, it's really yellow. Yeah, proper yellow. Like piss yellow. Um, might go to car boot in the morning, possibly, yeah, yes, but then it will be a very long day tomorrow, because I'm going to get my pride on, go and support the gays, in it, because it's got to be done. Do you know what I hate, is when people say like, oh you got gay pride, like when are we going to have straight pride, like actually F off, okay, anybody who says that to me can F the F off forever to jump off a cliff okay this is gay pride and i'm going to be proud of being an ally okay sorry get my rant on there right anyways um um isn't it, well it's about a wider community now isn't it it's just you know yeah anyway i will go off on one otherwise right have a lovely evening, folks. I'm going to have a lovely evening and a lovely weekend. I hope you all do. I hope the ka-chings rain in. Um, exactly. Straight pride is just boring. Boring. Because, you know, who cares? <laughs> um, yes, I hope the ka-chings rain in. Mine hasn't ka -chinged. No, mine's ka once today. Dull. Um, oh, sorry, Sue. I'll do a, a, a private one just for you. Oh, yours are all about fetishes. So oh, ours is just about, like, Cardiff Pride is just people wearing rainbows and, you know, snogging. It's great. Yay. Anyways, I'm going to try and say goodbye again. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. And I shall speak to you all soon. Ta-ta.